we knew it was going to be a war and we didn't want to be in London. So the two places we thought of going were by the Warburswick or Cornwall. And either Warburswick or St Ives, that is. When we started actually looking looking around, we went went to Warburswick and then we went all around Suffolk and then we went all around Norfolk and we didn't find anything. I actually wanted to go to Cornwall because it was much more like Scotland and we could get paints and things there. I mean, we were walking along Haynes Walk and came on this fairly nice house and there was a maid leaning out of the window and Adrian said, is this house for sale? Just because he wanted it, and she said, oh, well, yes, it was put up for sale today. 1939. We bought the house and moved in on April the 3rd. The house had been built by the architect George Kennedy. It was made of honey-coloured granite with a white lime-washed roof. From the balcony in front, you could see over the bay. We hung Wallace paintings in the passages and bedrooms. In the sitting room, we had a white relief by Ben Nicholson. Adrian had arranged that if war started, Ben Nicholson and the whole family would evacuate themselves to us. We were expecting a visit from Eddie Sackville West, but he never came. Instead, there was a telegram from Ben saying they were on the way. 25th of August, in the middle of a thunderstorm, they arrived from London in a taxi with the triplets, the nurse and the cook. 